thank you sagar good morning everyone on the behalf of nomura and nb nbcc welcome you all for 3qfi 24 results conference call of nbcc limited uh, we are happy to host the management of nbcc limited uh, from the management side today we have uh, shri kp mahadeva swami chairman cum managing director shrimati bk soke uh, director finance shri salim ahmed uh, director projects shri rajendra choudhary senior executive director engineering shrimati uh, reshma dudani uh, executive director engineering also we have uh, investor relations uh, balkrishna singhala so now we have uh, uh, we uh, hand over the call to management to give uh, initial remarks on the results and uh, current business outlook over to you sir thank you good morning everyone i am kp madhav swami cmd mbcc on behalf of my team i extend warm welcome to you and appreciate your presence in today earning call for third quarter ended 31st december 2023 i have with me our other directors and senior management of ndcc first of all i express sincere gratitude to all shareholders particularly you the investors who strongly believe in ndcc strength which help to cross all time high share price recently if i recall last february when i took responsibility of director commercial it was around inr 35 rupees and now it is multiple times i assure you as a cmd of this company in coming years our performance will elevate much fold in terms of consolidated operation and execution on nine months basis we have achieved 6566 crores of total income and 361 crores cbt which is 63% ir on year on year basis and significant 66% increase in tax for 9 months i want to share few key key achievement of ndcc regarding redevelopment project at consolidated level ndcc has secured business of 10000 crore rupees in during last 9 months uh whereas the same figure was 6500 find it for in the last year previous year update regarding amrapalli project amrapalli project has contributed 1170 crore of turnover in nbcc top line i am happy to share that out of 38000 housing units 16000 units are already completed and ending over in process additional another 14000 units will be ready at the layer by december 2024 nbcc along with aspire team has achieved a sale of 6000 units in amrapalli project with the total sale value of 3500 crores update regarding redevelopment projects naroji nagar world trade center is 93% completed netaji nagar project first phase is going on with the project worth of 1500 crores which has been uh acute financial project uh, uh, percentage is 48% completed saroji nagar this is the large project and works in eight phases is going on with the project value of 4200 crores ndcc real estate ndcc is putting dedicated efforts in this direction to reach maximum potential buyers and increase the sale volume as well as profitability we have already able to sell 117 crores of ndcc real estate in comparison with 37 crores of last year uh, 9 months redevelopment and real estate sale redevelopment real estate sale before march 24 we will be able to sell remaining units after its construction project tender out for execution in current financial year around 6800 crores worth of project have been awarded which will start on ground very soon and help to increase our uh, turnover other major achievements inauguration of iim sambalpur by honorable prime minister a new campus spread in 200 acres under the world largest grain storage plant in cooperative sector nbcc has signed a total 175 mou with tax and cooperative banks till date in different state across india national dental commission was inaugurated by honorable health minister Honorable President of India inaugurated the NBCC Builds Council of Bhavan. Sri Amit Shah, Honorable Union Minister and Home 
and as well as cooperation integrated offices in world trade center honorable president of india integrated ndcc built wooden replica of historic black post honorable president applauded ndcc for timely completion of the tallest wooden black post in india major opportunities and focus area in ndcc in upcoming months opportunity in housing sector government of india and union finance minister gave boost to affordable housing by providing to the middle class income group ndcc is assessing this opportunity and are in talk with various government agencies including few state governments land monetization after receipt of kerala housing board monetization project ndcc is exploring feasibility of few land parcel across pan india along with the psu land parcel psu has thousands of acres land with them in all major cities after a successful journey of redevelopment business model ndcc is eyeing some major work in the segment of upcoming month ncash amrapalli project experience and expertise examining feasibility of few more stress real estate projects we are exploring other opportunity in ncr mumbai regions where home buyer facing such big problems overseas focus we already set up concrete foot in overseas particularly african countries maldives mauritius social housing work is in full swing in maldives we are hoping that we will tap some business in arabia and africa in coming months ndcc real estate works we are also reaching out to tier cities for upcoming real estate projects diversification we are also talking some steps to diversify ndcc business which includes recently secured projects metro railway thank you one and all now the forum is open for discussion thank you very much we will now begin the question and answer session Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone phone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Shivam, who is an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello, thanks for the opportunity, sir, and congrats for good numbers. Uh, sir, what will be the update on your guidance of the top line of eleven thousand crores in this fiscal and twenty-five uh, thousand crores that you mentioned in the next fiscal? Definitely, we will achieve between ten thousand five hundred to eleven thousand crores. And sir, for the next fiscal year? Next fiscal year, thirteen thousand crores. Next fiscal year would be thirteen thousand crores. Yes. Uh, if I'm not wrong, you mentioned somewhere around about for twenty five thousand crores. Am I right? Wrong. Five years. Five years. Five years. Next five years. In next five years. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ankaj Kumar from Kotak Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah. Sir, thanks for taking my questions. Uh, sir, I would like to know about the order inflows that we had in the nine months, and uh, overall, what is the target for FY twenty four and twenty five? So nine months order are already ten thousand crores we have secured. Another ten thousand crores we are expecting current year only within these three months by March. And what is the other question you are? Yeah. So about next year, FY25, what we are uh, targeting to business development. Uh, yeah, new order inflows. I'm talking. Yeah. Pardon me. Yeah, yeah, business development. You can for the next. Year. Twenty thousand crores next year onwards, we can easily secure more than twenty thousand crores. Yes, sir, this number is on consolidated basis, I believe. Uh, so if you can help us with the standalone numbers. Uh, consolidated only, but standalone you can say fifteen to sixteen thousand crore rupees. Consolidated only three to four thousand crore only we are getting from other uh, subsidiaries. Our is major. Okay, okay. And sir, uh, in terms of overall uh, this order book, uh, what is the order backlog uh, at the end of nine months? 
and on and under and cut down. Fifty-five thousand three hundred crores uh, come in uh, consolidated basis. Okay. So standalone uh, would be around forty-five thousand. Forty-five thousand two hundred thirty something. Okay. And sir, uh, you were targeting to award some nine thousand six hundred crore uh, uh, in the current financial year. So uh, the project that you were targeting earlier. So what are the revised uh, targets for the current year as well as what you are planning to award in the next uh, financial year? Next financial year, we will going to award around twenty thousand crores. Um, sorry, twelve thousand crores. Currently, eight thousand crores we are targeting. Okay. And out of this total fifty-five thousand crore order book, what portion we have already awarded? Yeah, already six thousand are awarded during this year. No, no. Total of this fifty-five thousand crore, when you are saying this is the order backlog. So, how much the project that is uh, where the work has uh, where we have already awarded the work? And about twenty one thousand crores in a consolidated level, twenty one thousand already awarded. Okay, so so large part is still uh, to be awarded. You are saying for the, uh, that we yes. expect the, the seven G pair eight is in process that we are awarding. Mm-hmm. Okay, and sir, in terms of seven G pair eight project, uh, uh, which I believe uh, is around twenty four thousand crore of construction work. So there, what is the progress in terms of what work, uh, what percentage of work is already awarded, and uh, what is yet to be awarded? If you can help us with the project wise in all three. Ah, uh, Naroji Nagar one nine five zero work already awarded. That is WTC ninety three percent completed. By March, we will go to complete all the physical and as well as financially, we will go to complete. Similarly, the sale around thirteen thousand crore we have to sale out of which ten thousand already. We are sell out. The remaining three thousand crore we will going to sell before March. Regarding Netaji Nagar, we have already awarded one GPO to the agency, wherein almost fifty percent work we have completed. By next and uh, this uh, December, before December, we will going to complete the Netaji Nagar. Similarly, uh, Saroji Nagar, we have already awarded uh, five packages. Out of which uh, all are in uh, running running conditions. One project, uh, some 800 units, will going to hand it over shortly to our uh, Mawa. So uh, this uh, Sarojini Nagar is the large port, uh, part of, I believe, around 15,000 crore of the construction, no? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 13,000 crore. Uh, 13,000 crore, 400 rupees. And in this, uh, what in the value terms you can help us? So uh, what is where the construction is going now? What value? We are going in different phases in uh, each package. One package we are going to partly hand it over uh, by March. Around 800 units we are going to hand it over by March. So rest is in progress. By August, it is in different stages. Each package is in different uh, package. Recently we awarded three packages. So all the three packages uh, they are started. It's uh, two packages we awarded with uh, my own technology. One uh, with uh, Free cost technology. So uh, I was looking for in value terms. What uh, amount is uh, already when the construction work is done? Four thousand two hundred crore already awarded. Four thousand two hundred in the Sarojini Nagar project. Yes. And in Netaji Nagar. Netaji Nagar one thousand four hundred fifty already awarded. Two tender we will going to publish by uh, within one week. Uh, around two thousand crore work is 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 in ready. The tender is ready. We will going to publish at the earliest. Okay, sir. Thank you. I will come back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Vasudev from Nuwama. Please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. And uh, all the. So, sir, my first question is on the Amrapali project. So, here we were expecting some additional orders. So, you know, what is the status over there? And you know, currently, what is our uh, pending order book from Amrapali? Uh, out of 8,000 crores, already we have completed around 6,000. The balance workload is uh, only 2,000 crores. Regarding new business, that is FAR, additional FAR, we will going to get at the earliest. I think by this weekend uh, we will going to get 8,000, uh, 9,000 uh, business. Okay, okay. Uh, then next, sir, on our real estate front. So you know, you said that we have uh, sold our 117 crores in this year. So, you now what are our plans for uh, 
and FI25 and also you can help that you know what is our current land bank available with us. Yeah. 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 Uh, another 50 crore rupees I think we will going to sell during this year. Uh, a real estate project. Total we have 600 crore inventory out of which 117 already we have sell it out. So another uh, 50 crore by March we will go to sale. Okay, okay, that's so, and uh, on the redevelopment front also you said that you know we will sell all of it by the end of this year. So what is the value if you can provide? That is uh, can you uh, uh, real estate or redevelopment? You are saying redevelopment, redevelopment only Amrapali we have to sell. That's all uh, Savindipa, there is no sale in uh, redevelopment. It is government colony. Okay, okay. And so, um, so taking it from the previous participants' question, so you give guidance for revenues and order intake for then what is the path and the bidda margins that we're looking at? Top line. During this year, uh, yeah, this year and the next year are a bit and pat margins. Uh, your pat margin will be around five point uh, uh, five point five to six percent next year. Current year five to five point five percent. Okay, and uh, pat margins then? Pat margins around, around five. It will be more than five. Okay, okay, sure, sir. And this is the last question. So, uh, out of the 55,300 crores of order book that we have, can you give us a split between PNC and redevelopment? And what is a consolidated cash balance? Uh, around 90, 92% in PNC only. So, only 3-4% uh, that is on uh, real estate and 3-4% for uh, EPC contract. Uh, as regards the cash balance, we have the cash balance of 4,800 crores on consolidated uh, consolidated basis. Uh, and uh, NBCC's uh, uh, cash balance out of that is 2,100 crores. And our own funds are around 1,000 crores. As the NBCC has received the received back the seed money which we have invested in the redevelopment project of seven GPRA and which will be further deputed in the furtherance of the business uh, of our own. Okay, so now then, what is the seed money that you know it is still outstanding and interest on that? Yeah, uh, seed money now outstanding as on today is eighty one uh, crore. And uh, the outstanding interest is around 210 crore, which we are expecting to get back in the next financial year, in the per, uh, first week of next financial year. Uh, at least the interest portion, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you and all the best. Right. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Atul, who is an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello, good morning, everyone. So my question is, there is uh, two questions. So first is, uh, as you uh, told earlier, that this uh, year you will achieve around 10,500 uh, revenue. So may I ask you, uh, are you, I mean, this is a conservative number or this is final number for this year? This is final number. I can say final number. Okay. And what, uh, so it means that consolidated basis you will achieve around 4,000 crore in this quarter? Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. This quarter number, this quarter, next quarter, what revenue will achieve? Consolidated basis. Uh -huh. 3,500 to 3,500 to 4,000. 4,000. And what fact uh, we can expect? Margin? Margin, bad margin. Uh, only quarter you are saying? Or, uh, quarter, quarter, quarter. quarter. And, uh, what? We, on annual basis, we are expecting 5%. 5%. Uh, yeah. 5%, okay. And as you told earlier, I mean, uh, I'm uh, asking you after 5 years, you will target uh, this company about 25,000 revenue guidance. So, may I ask, out of this 25,000, how, uh, I mean, you said for the real estate business, out of this 25,000, in maybe in percentage number, not in uh, accurate, just real estate business. 
रियल एस्टेट बिजनेस करोड़ next 5 year definitely we have our own ha ha so there will be okay and uh, one more question next year i mean there are a lot of inventory and uh, you know the lot of uh, unfinished project in uh, i mean nearby delhi like noida and gurgaon so are you uh, pushing your company to get like amrapalli kind of a, like other project not uh, i'm not talking about amrapalli next uh, you know phase for other developer project already we are planning are doing uh, okay continue ha uh, already we are talking with rera haryana rera already called us they wanted to start the stall project in haryana gurgaon that is in gurgaon so already it is not in noida noida also there noida unitech project supertech we are uh, discussing But I think we will going to get uh, the earliest Ariana. Ariana Rera. Okay. Already we are uh, we are talking with them. Okay. And I think so we will get. So this this revenue you didn't calculate in your next year target. I mean maybe this is extra revenue we will get. Presently we are not considered this one. Okay. So in case in case if you will get these projects, so it will add uh, let's say ten twenty percent more revenue in that your uh, projection. definitely 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 okay so like this this projection is just based on your uh, normal projects you know redevelopment and other projects not with this uh, extra what maybe you will get through government yeah but we are not considered so far we are not okay considered. so then it will i mean there is chances to you know more revenue and profit in your top line and bottom line both definitely, definitely. okay okay thanks a lot thanks okay thanks a lot thanks Thank you. The next follow-up question is from the line of Shivam, who's an individual investor. Please go ahead. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity, sir. I have two questions. The first would be that uh, that you have a lot of uh, land bank with you. So as the real estate cycle is uh, moving ahead and it's going at positive rate, so when do you expect to launch in or uh, on or develop these land banks? And uh, the second would be that the PSU land bank opportunity which you told. So, how many worth of uh, can can you give a projection that how many worth of opportunity it can be the PSU redevelopment that you are talking across India? Yes, you having land parcel of more than I think in lakh uh, acres. So we are presently discussing with two three PSUs. So it will be it will be more than ten thousand crore value. So that I think we will going to sign a MOU either this year or. Uh, first uh, quarter of next year similarly we have land parcel of around 700 crores three land parcel in jaipur one land parcel in coimbatore and patna so we will going to launch this project uh, by this uh, year in matlab march or first week of april one or two project we will going to start immediately so sir so you you are saying that uh, that around 13000 crore you will do in next fiscal year in consolidated basis and if you get any psu redevelopment opportunity that would be the cherry on cake right yes. yes so so how much can we expect on the optimism side that how much can be the revenue if everything goes right in for the next fiscal year at least uh, 20% i can say in percentage at least 20% because the first year so initially some due diligence appointment of consultant all these uh, clearances and all it will take but next year onwards it will be i think more than 2025% and so one more clarification on your 25000 crores guidance so at what fiscal year you will be able to achieve 25000 crores top line consolidated basis like you can mention the fiscal year 26 25 or anything the next five years next five years 
systems in the next five years, like from which fiscal you will start generating twenty five thousand crores, or it would be the sum. It it won't be the sum of five years, na? Twenty seven twenty eight. Twenty seven twenty eight. FY twenty seven twenty eight. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to all the participants: If you wish to ask questions, you may press star and one now. The next question is from the line of Dr. Akshay Patil from NBCC. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Ah, hello. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Actually, my question is: uh, Exceptional losses of around 15 to 20 crores are we seeing almost in every quarter? So, is it going to continue or reduce in future, or what are the steps you are going to? What is your question? Exceptional items. Exceptional items. You are talking about the exceptional items. Yeah, yeah. Ah, no, because I, the the uh, now this has been provided fully by the board, and uh, uh, we have given the option for the reconstruction of the flats to all the buyers, and the offer has also been given to the national consumer. redressal uh, forum and but their court case is still pending so but we are hopeful that the buyers will consider our uh, 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 offer and uh, we need to further further any any further uh, cost uh, loss rather they are request partly they are requesting to reconstruct mm. so for that purpose only we have created exception item i think in for in future it will it won't come Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. And one more uh, thing. Uh, as per your balance sheet, continuous losses have been posted in real estate segment. Real estate segment has not been in profit in past two three quarters. So, uh, what uh, can you give us a picture on that? What 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 is the reason for that? The reason is mainly the a uh, provision towards this uh, loss of thirty seven D. Okay, 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 ma'am. And this is a real estate project. Okay, okay. And my next question is to K P Swami sir. Sir, as per your latest interview, you have aspired to be a Maharatna company. Mm. Yeah, and uh, Maharatna company means at least yearly uh, from the last pro- previous three years, you should post a profit of five uh, thousand crore annually. So, what is the roadmap and timeline to achieve the same Ma- to become the Maharatna company? No, we are. We are. We'll next five years. We'll go to. Pay a Maratna status. Not uh, we'll going to get Maratna status for another five years. I think we'll going to get roadmap for Maratna. We are making. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, so b- from when we your real estate project uh, the like Jaipur, which the land parcel you own, what is the uh, opportunity business opportunity in that? You have the worth of seven crore pa- land parcels. So out of that, so uh, what is will be the sale value of after the redevelopment or uh, what after the constructing of those projects? Presently, we are planning to construct one in Coimbatore, other one is in Jaipur. In okay. Jaipur, we have three land parcels valuing around 300 crores, but definitely we will going to fetch around uh, mother 400 to 500 crores rupees in Jaipur, and similarly 100 crores rupees from uh, Coimbatore. So. Okay. I- And the profit uh, in these segments will be twenty five percent, right? Twenty five to thirty percent. We can expect twenty five to thirty percent. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Participants, you may press star and one to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Pankaj Kumar from Kotak Securities. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, thanks for the follow up. Uh, so this uh, vision, uh, this next five years vision of achieving twenty five thousand crore. So in that, uh, what contribution you expect is uh, from the redevelopment versus PNC? Is, will it be largely from the redevelopment, or uh, it's the normal PNC building project that we are getting? Hey, fifty percent from redevelopment. Out of ninety percent, I can say forty forty five percent from redevelopment, and another forty five percent regular PNC. And in this PNC uh, redevelopment. Uh, Uh, which are the major opportunity that you see? One you said is the PSU land uh, development, I believe. So, uh, what are the other uh, avenues that we have? Is it yeah? Other other redevelopment project is under our ministry only. We are going to start one uh, redevelopment project that is DAZ area, Kanad Place. The other one is the Ring Ring Road, Andrew Gunn. 
these two real estate uh, redevelopment project will go to get at the earliest mm -hmm. so we have another also some uh, other state government we are uh, trying for another state government that uh, right now i cannot say but uh, we have a lot of opportunities and lot of uh, scope in uh, redevelopment Uh, of course, there is a huge opportunity in the real uh, in the redevelopment side. But uh, we have seen that the approvals and uh, other government uh, uh, that the involvement is also there uh, in uh, all this. So, do you see uh, these targets would be uh, achievable, or uh, we? I mean, uh, looking at the uh, we have seen the seven GPRA project, uh, there were delays in approvals and all. So. Plus, we also have to monetize the land and uh, to uh, generate uh, resources. So, what uh, what are the challenges that you believe? Uh, whether these old challenges continue or uh, is those two? Yes, as you rightly said, the seven G period we faced a lot of challenges like tree cutting, tree removal, encroachment, uh, and generation of fund. Now, all the generation fund part already over. So we already sold around 13,000, 10,000 inventory. Another 3,000 we will going to sell during this year. So there is no money issue. Secondly, encroachment issue also already resolved. So in 7G per year we don't have any hurdle. That's why we are kept only 20% increase in the next year because next year we we are um, we are able to generate only 10 to 10 20% only. Our order book will be more, but uh, approval and all it will take some time. Uh, next year onwards, uh, after uh, one or two years, our revenue can increase uh, like anything. So initially, we are taking very comfortable figures, 10 to 20 percent only. So this PSU uh, land development opportunities, uh, what uh, uh, value you expect out of it uh, in your order in next five years? I, I told you know around only 10 to 20 percent next year. Clearly we are projecting, but okay. uh, next five years it will be more than 20 25 thousand crores. It is easily because we are already talking with uh, BHL, uh, some other PSUs, BSNL, MTNL. So uh, so uh, right now I don't want to disclose the names and all. So we have good opportunity and they have very good land parcel, and we will go to redevelop there. And these are at uh, in which geographies? Across India, across India, and India. So they have land parcel, mm -hmm. and Bhopal, Bhopal they have land parcel, Vishakhapatnam. So BHA is having 100 acre land parcel, 100 and 150 acre land in Vishakhapatnam. So in Bhopal they have excess land that is uh, presently they are not using, and encroachments and all issues are going on. So they wanted to monetize this land. And you also talked about uh, opportunities from other sectors in the previous calls, uh, like metros and all. So, uh, any development and any, any uh, comment on those? We already secured a metro work for all that is housing. Uh, we already secured Kochi Metro. We are uh, will to will going to get the Kochi Water Metro projects. Similarly, we are trying for other metro projects. So, lot of opportunities are in the metro sector also. And field sector, we got recently some 300, 400 crore work orders. And lastly, on the international side, uh, uh, what is the total order book and uh, what are the pipeline? Uh, presently, we have 1,000. Uh, presently, we are going around uh, 1,500 to 2,000 crore worth of project, and we are already established now in Saudi Arabia, Jeddah. Uh, we are focusing uh, Gulf uh, region from that country, the neighboring countries. We already have an office in Dubai. Our subsidiary, fully owned subsidiary, is having office. So we are focusing now on the Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Sharjah. So they got lot of big uh, housing potential there. So and then we are also now targeting African countries, Guinea, uh, Guinea Conakry. We are trying to get a hospital project there, and some other talks are going on in other African countries. So we are expecting some good revenue, good uh, new business orders in coming years. Okay, sir. thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Tanay Rasul from Nomura. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, so my first question was related to the land monetization. So, do you think the government can involve private sector in case of PSU's land monetization or the redevelopment aggressively in the near future? 
ಬಾಂಬೆ so private people they cannot uh, go mother main government projects uh, of course they can do their own not government okay. projects so, so the what are the challenges they face actually you know compared to what are the positives for the nbc company like nbcc and the what are the challenges faced by the private players in such case advantage is government because, because just i'll say one word when pfu fails private people will come to take example air india air india failed tata took over whereas amrapali private people failed and nbcc successfully doing that project so the advantage is because and we could sell around 6000 units it is in the history of uh, ncr first time we sell around 6000 units no private agency so far sell this uh, amount of uh, volume of uh, housing uh, project so the reason is we are a government entity csu the confidence on home buyers is more much more because all the private builders already they are cheated uh, the max day in delhi and sir only around 3.5 lakhs home buyers still they are struggling to get their homes so that is the advantage for mbcc okay 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 sir and as you mentioned you know like your revenue target of around 25000 crores by fy28 Uh, so what do you think you know the potential risk to this particular estimate in the medium term as well as the long term i think there is no risk because since we are doing on pmc basis even redevelopment also we are doing on pmc basis so there is no much more risk of course lot many challenges we have to face that's all there is i think there is no risk in this okay 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 sir and coming to the margins part you know the margins have remained volatile historically for the company uh, so how do you plan to maintain you know like uh, expand it to, on a consistent basis in the long term or in the medium term what are your plans on that uh, aspect in long term i think we will going to achieve more margin because our expenditure is fixed our overhead is only salary nothing else basically okay. our own salary and uh, other thing so that is break even in, in when you reach around 5500 crores the salary will be break even beyond that whatever we will do our margin definitely going to increase so that's why we are projecting uh, 6% ebitda next year and similarly i think by by end of uh, 27 28 it may reach up to 8 to 9% okay 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 sir and what is your uh, what will be the fixed uh, cost annually uh, approximately can you quantify that uh, 300 to around 300 to okay 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 thank you thank you so that's it from my side thank you thank you thank you the next question is from the line of shivam who is an individual investor please go ahead Hello sir so uh, will we also be targeting the land banks of the indian armed forces like navy air force army and they also have a huge land bank yes presently we are discussing with them it is initial stage only so i am already discussing with defense the army huh? uh, uh, and of course that is land mobilization uh, of course for uh, the india pakistan border fencing that has done by ndcc it has completed so india bangla border fencing and uh, north east we are doing for uh, bsf and uh, itbp crpf and all we are already doing their road as well as fencing work so so what's the revenue potential that you already you are doing and what do you expect in future with the indian armed forces and, uh, presently we have in india pakistan already we have completed india bangla border fencing it is going on 200 to 250 crore i think per year it is, we are uh, presently we are doing it will be increasing next year onwards some psus are not performing in the 
border that's why we are getting the, the job from them already we are secure okay okay because of your execution yes yes and uh, sir uh, sir this is like uh, my previous participant asked about the land bank uh, so sir how many how much sales can you do from that 700 crores of land bank like if you if, if you just uh, build and uh, sell the units from that so we, with that our land bank will go to generate around 1400 to 1500 crore after completion we can generate presently we have around 700 crore land bank it is our only excluding okay. excluding gitorni that gitorni land parcel it is used that uh, that also we are planning to redevelopment so excluding redevelopment uh, gitorni uh, we have 710 crore land parcel and sir any guidance on the contingent liabilities for this fiscal year what would be the contingent liabilities in this year Uh, the current contingent liabilities are to the tune of 1400 crores and uh, uh, they are mainly consist of uh, three four uh, main contractors one is the rama civil against whom the company has also filed a recovery suit of 750 crores and there are uh, three four or more contractors also uh, that's why it has increased uh, this is the reason so do you expect this to go down from next fiscal year 25 or it will be the same because of the delays uh okay so far the contingent liabilities what i have seen with my experience of over 35 years uh, they have not materialized in the in the uh, tune for matlab uh, which it appears in the books and uh, very meager amount is uh, matlab uh, uh, actually uh, matlab uh, is finalized again rather nbcp is always get favorable uh, judgment uh, in its favor and uh, very rarely we will get any matlab yeah, with counter claim also oh, yeah. Yeah. so ma'am this amount would increase in the next coming fiscal year or it will remain at this only No, no, we are not expecting, and rather the company is focusing on uh, for discussing with the legal uh, disputes with the contractors, and we are trying to resolve. And some of the, uh, the resolutions have also been made internally through discussions with the contractors, though they are of the small amount. But this approach has also been adopted by the company, so we are not expecting it to increase further in the future. Okay, thank you. All the best. thank you the next question is from the line of uh, vasudev from nuwama please go ahead uh yeah thank you for the follow up opportunity so so in the previous call we had mentioned that our order book split between pnc and redevelopment was nearly about 50 50 or 60 40 and earlier you mentioned that this time pnc is 92% and real estate and all is 3 4% so I I didn't get over here. Total out of fifty five thousand crore, if I say I can say like this, I can put like this. Total forty five thousand crore, ninety percent value is PMC. The PMC includes redevelopment. If I divide PMC in two category, PMC and redevelopment, then it is fifty fifty or forty fifty like that. So we are doing ninety percent work PMC. we are operating three segment basically we are operating three segment pmc epc and uh, real estate whereas in pmc we are doing redevelopment more of projects it is not a pmc redevelopment okay so sir this uh, this quarter then what will be the split between pmc and redevelopment pardon me we are around 50% the currently i cannot uh, say exactly what the figure around 50% in redevelopment and 50% from pmc okay 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 got it and so uh, you know what is the real estate sales that you are expecting for next year fs25 uh, 13000 i told you no 13000 revenue and uh, real estate huh? real estate you are asking about real estate or uh, total No, no. Only real estate uh, sales. Only real estate around two hundred crores or two fifty crores. Two hundred to two fifty crores. Okay, okay, okay. That's a good matter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
ladies and gentlemen we would take that as the last question for today i would now like to hand the conference over to the management for closing comments okay thank you once again all of you i think we have cleared your questions uh, answered very well i think we have answered your questions uh, thank you thank you very we are expecting very good growth and uh, i think in this year we will going to get but within one month we are going to get a good number of orders and hopefully next year on that side it will be a very good year for in this issue that's all of you thank you thank you on behalf of nomura and nbcc india limited that concludes this conference thank you for joining us you may now disconnect your line